Hello, welcome back to another diecast video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the updated tour of the layout. Nothing is really new regarding the actual, I guess, mat or buildings that are on the layout. They're pretty much all the same. Um, you know, definitely not the most detailed, but what is new is just kind of how I have it all set up and everything that is going on here at the layout. So we're going to be giving a little tour here today and just kind of explain to you what's going on in this little tiny world. So. Uh, yeah, first we're going to start off here with the landscaping company. They own this lot here, which sure cuts off right there. Uh, but this is the landscaping company. This is um, kind of a small, smaller landscaping company, as you can see here. They don't have much room. Um, they use exclusively rams here. You can see um, as their fleet of all rams there. Um, they pretty much do small job landscaping. They do lowing, lawn irrigation. Um, storm removal in the winter time and they also do a little bit of um, woodwork and forestry work as you can see here a storm just rolled through and I'm actually getting ready to head out here and um, help um, take out some trees that have fallen down they're gonna use the wood chipper there and put them in the back of this truck haul them out and I'll use this here with this grapple attachment to move some um, larger trees out the way so uh, yeah this is also taking place where I got to mention um, kind of in early spring so this is time where they're starting to take out the piles and start getting ready for summer work but it's not exactly quite uh time to start mowing or anything like that but they're getting everything ready for it so um but yeah so we're just rolling through so normally they'd be doing some mulching jobs as a, that's kind of the main job this kind of year but because the storm rolled through they're just getting everything hooked up to take care of some trees that fell down here's the mowing crew um again they just have it all set up uh, you see this salt shed here or hoop shed Used to be for salt, but now they just use it for extra storage um, to keep everything dry. So as you can see here, they have the mowing set up. The zero turn mower back there. It's just a, a two-person mowing crew. One person gets on the mower and the other person does some string trimming or whatever else needs to be done. They all use four doors here just because it's a lot easier for space. They don't have to keep things outside and in the elements. They also use all Fisher products. So these are all the Fisher products here. They have one. Uh, salt spreader, um, one tailgate salt spreader. They have four plows for all their trucks. Uh, three work trucks in the right here. As you can see, the man in the blue, this is his new truck. Um, this is a new generation Ram. This is his um, personal truck here. As you can see, it stands out, but it's still a Ram. Um, inside this little shop that they have here, they have the tractor that they use for snow blowing residential areas in the wintertime. They also have an, an older mower and an ATV that the boss man uh, sometimes uses. They also brand new this year bought this Isuzu. Uh, if you don't know, Isuzu's are quite popular amongst mowing companies nowadays for, um, you know, just for mowing instead of having a outside trailer. They can just haul around, you know, one single truck and it's very nice. So they are going to be using this this year. This does have two mowers in it and these are for kind of their larger, uh, more commercial properties. Also here we have uh, employee parking lot. And also, they rent out space to the seal coating company that keeps some of their trailers here. So, this is a seal coating company that keeps one of their trailers here. And this is theirs. This is um, one of their John Deere 8, uh, 640 loaders. This is just used, again, for mulching. Um, but also, start removing the wintertime to see if they have a push plow for that. And that's just sitting here. That's a small scale landscaping company. Um, I try to keep everything you know, realistic to size and. Uh, Yep, a small space there. Now we have a huge construction project. Um, this is done by uh, one of the larger construction companies in the area. And <clears throat> I don't really know what they're doing, but they're doing something with dirt, moving dirt around. As you can see here, a big pile of dirt um, being hauled out there. An excavator working, a couple of smaller skid steers working, of course. Um, and they have some of the workers parking, just kind of parking in the grass, as a lot of sites have them, just parking the grass. A lot of work trucks there, some more equipment out in the back. Um, and they're also doing some drainage work on the side as well here. So they're having to close off this lane. Of course, using this wonderful attenu attenuator here to close off the lane. And also the New York State troopers are helping out with traffic control. Is making sure the traffic is stopping for the boss man here to pull out in his uh, nice truck with his skid steer. Um, taking it off the job site and bringing it somewhere else. Some more people doing some drainage work. Um, and they also have the 
other area for kind of staging some equipment. It's just an empty parking lot that they uh, rented out for this job, and this is where they're keeping extra equipment. You see here they have one of their traffic control vehicles. They also have a van that helps bring uh, workers to the site. They also have a port party, of course, and then their kind of parts trailer where they keep all their um, equipment that they might need in that job site. And then back there, they just have one of their box trucks and the little attenuator here in case they need it to help with traffic control. But yeah, I'm just kind of keeping some extra equipment, extra trailer. And uh, yeah, going to work on this job site. Not sure what they're doing, but I see a lot of dirt's being moved. So it's nice to have some nice traffic control out there to make sure they can keep things flowing. Uh, on the road here, you just have some you know, normal stuff that you'd normally see on the side or on the road. You have some Cintas delivering some some stuff. Um, we are busy, busy. Now we're going to be taking a look here at this roadway. Um, not much going on. As you can see here, you have some roofing guys starting to work on the Shell gas station. Uh, they got all their trucks pulled out. Disregard whatever's going on here with this, uh, uh, with this gravel. I just forgot to take that out. Um, yeah, really going on. Then we have some tweaker houses. See this tweaker has a bunch of old shit, and um, some trucks running around. You know, very common sight that you'd seen upstate New York. And there's a normal house with a, you know, little jeep and everything like that. So, yeah, nice little details to do like that um, kind of area. Now we're going over here to the Public Works Department. Public Works. Um, this is this to be able to show you guys this finally, but uh, they use pretty much all red vehicles. And they kind of take care of a smaller town area. This is, of course, their building here. Of course, all Punish Public Works have a V-Pile that's just located outside the outside of town name. You have the employee parking. Inside, as you can see here, they're getting ready for summertime. They're taking out the plows. See, that one already got its salt spray taken out. Um, this one is just waiting to go in to get its um, plow taken off and salt spray taken off and get ready for summer work. Um... Some equipment outside they have their one sidewalk machine they only have one really um main street in the town so they use that to take the snow off the sidewalks they have their e35 excavator inside they just have a lot of summer storage you have the good two skidsters that they have they have the two roadside mowers that they got set up this winter that are all ready to go when they need to start and going out to roadside mow they have this new holland um with this uh, Bushmore in the back, and they have this um, new um, broom mower here that they can get the side of the roads with. Well, it's a very old tractor, it's about probably nine years old, but it's been serving them well. Um, they just have that nice broom mower, and of course, they have their uh, street sweeper. They have an older tractor that they use to roadside mow, older paver, and of course, their, um, their roller for every, any, any other paving projects. Um, with their dump. Uh, trucks there and on some of their vehicles that they use to get people around on the side here I have a service truck they, get, they have two wheel loaders one's used for um, putting up salt in the winter time the other's kind of used for pushing up the lot and it also has this snow blower attachment in case you didn't get any big snows that was not used this year so they just get ready to take that off and they can get down to summer work they have an additional uh, roadside mower this is an older one that they got from the NYDOT. And that's just been sitting here. Some more extra space. You have some salt sprays and traffic control things. They have parking for some of their more snow plows. And one of their snow plows I got that's equipment taken off and it's actually ready for summer work. Just getting ready to head out. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Any updates to the layout? Let me know what you think or any updates I should add. Appreciate you.